Meet India's deadliest flying machine, the Prachand Attack Helicopter. This isn't just any aircraft. It's India's first homemade attack helicopter and the country's biggest defense manufacturing success. But its story begins with a tragedy that changed everything. 1999. The Kargil War. High in the frozen mountains, Pakistani soldiers had positioned themselves on nearly impossible peaks, some over 5,000 meters high. The air was so thin that even breathing was difficult. Indian soldiers were fighting bravely, but they desperately needed air support. India's military commanders had a plan. They would use their most powerful weapons, the Russian Mi-25 and Mi-35 attack helicopters. These were legendary war machines that had dominated battlefields across the world. But reality hit hard. These Russian helicopters were built for European planes, not Himalayan peaks. At Kargil's extreme altitude, where oxygen is scarce, these once mighty helicopters became sluggish and clumsy. They struggled to gain altitude. Their engines gasped for air. They moved like wounded birds, making them perfect targets for enemy fire. Desperate for a solution, India's military made a risky gamble. They began mounting rockets and guns onto Mi-17 transport helicopters. These aircraft were never meant for combat. The Mi-17s couldn't get close enough for accurate fire, and they had no armor to protect them. Then came the day that haunted India's military forever. A Pakistani Stinger missile streaked through the thin mountain air and struck an Mi-17. The helicopter exploded in flames. Brave Indian soldiers were lost. A tragic reminder of the cost of using the wrong tools for the job. In that devastating moment, a brutal truth emerged. India needed its own attack helicopter, one designed specifically for Indian conditions. Building an attack helicopter is one of the toughest engineering challenges in the world. In 2006, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited began work on what would become the light combat helicopter, later named Prashant. To kickstart the program, HAL built on its existing experience with the indigenous ALH Dhruv, a utility helicopter. Using Dhruv as a base not only accelerated development but also helped reduce costs significantly. Still, transforming a utility chopper into a frontline combat machine was no small feat. It took 16 years. Engineers spent over a decade and a half designing every bolt, every wire, every system. The first test flight came in 2010 but the Indian Air Force received its first Prashant only in 2022. This wasn't just about building a helicopter. India had to create an entire defense ecosystem from the ground up. After years of prototypes, tests, and setbacks, India finally had a helicopter ready for war. But what could it actually do? This twin-seater attack helicopter is built to survive in combat. It has armor that can withstand bullets and shrapnel. It can take direct hits during missions and still stay operational keeping the crew safe. Second, it's heavily armed. Prashant carries Helena anti-tank missiles with a strike range of 7 kilometers. That's far enough to destroy enemy tanks from a safe distance. It also has rockets for ground targets and a 20 millimeter cannon that fires 750 rounds per minute. Third, it's equipped with advanced systems. Thermal imaging allows pilots to see threats at night. Its radar can monitor multiple targets at once and its communication system ensures real-time updates with ground forces. What sets it apart is that every system is designed specifically for Indian conditions. The twin Shakti engines are optimized for high-altitude flying. Unlike earlier imported helicopters that struggled in places like Kargil, Prachan can operate at heights up to 6,500 meters. Whether it's the extreme heat of Rajasthan or the freezing cold of Siachen, Prachan can fly and fight without issue. The best part? It's made in India. Over 500 Indian companies have contributed to its development. This helicopter isn't just assembled in India. It's designed and manufactured here from the ground up. How does the Prashand compare to the world's most famous attack helicopters? The American Apache is often called the king of attack helicopters. It has more firepower and advanced sensors than the Prashand. But it costs nearly three times more and wasn't designed for high-altitude warfare. In places like Ladek or Siachen, where the Prashan thrives, the Apache would struggle just like those Russian helicopters did in Kargil. The Russian Me-24 Hind is a proven warrior that's seen action in dozens of conflicts. It's tough and reliable, but Kargil taught us its biggest weakness. At high altitudes, it becomes a sitting duck. The Prachand was specifically built to overcome this exact limitation. 
What makes the Prashan unique isn't just its specifications on paper. It's the only attack helicopter in the world designed specifically for the Indian subcontinent's diverse and challenging conditions. While other helicopters are trying to be universal solutions, the Prachand was built to be the perfect solution for India. And here's the real measure of success. In March 2025, the government approved India's largest ever helicopter contract. 156 Prachand helicopters worth 62,700 crore rupees. That's over $7 billion. These helicopters will be built at factories in Bengaluru and Tumkur, with deliveries starting in 2028. Today, when a Prachan flies over Indian skies, it carries the dreams of a nation determined to defend itself.